All right, so in this video, we're just going to get some practice uh, with radians on a clock. So this says, what is the positive radian measure of the smaller angle formed by the hands of a clock at 1 o'clock and then at 4 o'clock? So hopefully you're coming to this video having at least some exposure to radians, just as a reminder that there are um, 360 degrees in a circle, but uh, there are 2 pi radians. Okay, so a full rotation around the circle, if, if you've done that, you've traveled 2 pi radians. So now we're asked to basically estimate, uh, sorry, not estimate, find this angle here, right, the acute angle formed by these two hands. Well, we know, for instance, that, let me just impose here a little x, y axis. Okay, we'll say that's the origin. Well, we know that if you do this, uh, and we consider this the origin, then this is clearly 90 degrees. And um, it's broken up into thirds, right? So this is one third, that's two thirds, that's three thirds. So 90 degrees divided by three, of course, is 30 degrees. So we know that the uh, angle being made by the two hands here is 30 degrees. So your options here are to convert 30 degrees to radians. So we do that by noting that um, we can use this. We can use the conversion up here. You can even use, you know, 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. That's another. That one works fine. 30 degrees times pi radians for every 180 degrees. Units cancel, and we get 30 pi over 180. But 30 over 180 reduces to a sixth. So you can say pi over six. So pi over 6 radians. Remember, with radians, you typically don't write the units. I'm, I wrote it above, but you, don't, you really don't need to. Um, so another way you could have done that if you, you, know, if you didn't like that approach um, is you could have just noted that since, um, since we're looking at 1 12th, right, the, the, the angle between this, the, these two hands here, the one at the 12 and the one at the 1, that's 1 12th of uh, the entire clock. And we know that two pi radians um, are what are found in a full circle. So we just want one twelfth of two pi, which gives you two pi over twelve, or pi over six radians. Okay. So either way, you get the same answer. And of course, once you have that, I mean, we we did the easy problem first. Once you have that, basically the any other problem involving angles um, where the hands are facing the numbers directly should be straightforward, right? So if we just kind of divvy this up a little bit, we know that's 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians. That's another 30 degrees. I'm basically looking at, let me zoom in here a little bit for you, right? This must be pi over 6 because we just did that problem. There's another pi over 6. There's another pi over 6. There's another pi over 6. So we must be dealing with 1, 2, 3, 4 pi over 6 which is the same as 2 pi over 3 radians. So that's one way of doing it. Of course, you also could have noted that since each of these are 30 degrees, then together they add up to 120 degrees, 120 degrees times, and then we have to convert like we did above, pi radians over 180 degrees. And you get 120 pi over 180, but um, 120 over 180 reduces to 2 thirds. So that's the same as 2 pi over 3.